So today's lesson, we are looking at angles in a quadrature, and the learning objective is uh, to to work out the sizes of angles in a quadrature. Then the keyword we have are the quad the quadratures, the parallelogram, rainbow, kite, and the trapezium. But before we can embark on this, a student should know the sum of angles in a triangle. We have done this before, the sum of angles in a triangle and also the sum of angles in a, a quadrature. So here we are going to know that the sum of angles in a quadrature will sum up to give us 360 degrees. Okay, now look at this. You have to note, first of all, that the four angles in a in any quadrature sum up to 360 degrees. Any quadrature, be it rainbows, uh, kites, any quadrature sum up to 360 degrees. Okay, so in this uh, quadrature, we have A, B, C, and D. So we know that A plus B plus C plus D is equal to 360 degrees. So in this case, if we are asked to find the missing angle starting to find x in this we all know that this is a quadrature so this simply gives us that x plus 97 plus 105 plus 72 must be equal to 360 so i'm going to sum up this x plus please sum up this what do you have 72 105 and uh, 97, 105, and 72. We have what? We have uh, 274. Okay. Is equal to 360. So if I subtract this from both sides, we have uh, 360 minus 274. So our x value gives us what? 86 degree. So the 86 degree is our x value. Okay. So in the next one, if you are asked to find the size of this, we can equally solve this. Okay, you can pause and solve this. This plus this plus this minus it from 360, and that gives you the value of x. Okay. So after you have done that, you are getting the answer. Let's look at this. We look at the special quadrature we have. The special quadrature we have are the first one we have. Uh, parallelogram in this parallelogram we have that the opposite sides are parallel the two opposite sides are parallel the two opposite sides are parallel these are parallel and we have two parallel line and uh, they are equal the two sides are parallel and they are equal that means that uh the angle here is equal to the angle here the angle here are equal to the angle here you get that so in this case if I have this to be, maybe I have here to be 51. Maybe we are choosing that this angle here is 51 degree. And uh, maybe we have here to be X. And we have here to be Y. And here is Z. And we are asked to find the letters. For you to find the letters, you probably know that these two opposite angles are equal these two opposite angles are equal since it is a parallelogram the opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal the opposite side are equal this and this are equal this and it is equal that means that the opposite angles also must be equal so here yeah, we have that y must be equal to what 51 y is equal to 51 okay for you to find this value we have two ways of solving it first of all we can add this plus this because the opposite angles are equal this plus this whatever you have uh subtracted from 360 then you divide it by two gives us this or equally i can know that these obtuse angles are equal and uh, the two obtuse angles sum it up to it gives us a uh, 180 degree or you call it the interior angles okay so we can have that x plus 51 is 180 degree because they are obtuse angle this obtuse angle are uh, sum it up gives you 180 this obtuse angle sum it up gives you 180 okay so from here we can have this that uh x 
minus 180 from both sides gives you 180 minus 51 from both sides. Okay, so S gives you what? When you minus uh, 51 from 180, what do you have? Okay, that's why I have 129 degree. Okay, so if X is 129, Z also will be 129. As I said, if you don't want to work it this way, you can do it to be that since this and this is 51, I can have this to be 51 plus 51. That is, this is the 51, this is the Y. Okay, so if you sum them together, 51 plus 51 gives you 105. That gives you 105, 102, sorry. That gives you 102. Then, since this plus this is 102, minus it from 360, I have 360 minus 102. 360 minus 102. That gives you what? What do you have? 258. Okay. Now, 258 divided by 2. Divided by 2, what do you have? 129. Because, divided by 2, because these two angles are equal. They are the same. So, you solve it this way or that way, you have the answer. Okay. Now, the next one we'll talk about is the rainbow. Yeah, we say that rainbow is a parallelogram with all the sizes equal. They are the same like this. So the same principle is attached to this. But here, all the sizes are equal. This side is equal to this side. This equal to this side. This equal to this side. So this gives us a, this gives us a rainbow. Okay. So in this rainbow, as we have this angle here to be x and the uh, this angle here to be y and here maybe gives us a z okay and maybe i have here also to give us 75 and we ask to find the letters here for us to find the letters here we know that these two opposite angles are equal because it is a parallelogram these two opposite angles are equal these two opposite angles also are equal you see that so if these two opposite angles are equal and the sum of these four angles is equal to 360 degrees so here you know that y is equal to 75 degrees the opposite angles are equal uh, and these two angles sum up to 180 degrees these two obtuse angles sum up to 180 degrees these two up to angles sum up to 180 degrees so we have that um, z plus 75 degree we sum up to 180 degree so if i subtract 75 from both sides i have 180 minus 75 so that gives us what the z gives us 180 minus 75 what do you have okay that's i have 105 degree so that means if this is 105 degree here also will be 105 degrees so x also will be 105 degrees because they are opposite uh, angles now the next we talk about the kite so kite is a quadrilateral with two pairs of equal adjacent uh, side that means that these two sides are equal this place and here are equal okay and this is kind since this line and this side are equal so the two adjacent uh, sides are equal okay so in this kite someone we are asked to find this angle here maybe we are asked to find x and here we are given here to be 130 and maybe this side, uh, let me say, 65. Okay. So if you are asked to find X for these angles, we know that the sum of a quadrilateral must be equal to 360 degree. Okay. So from here, we know that since here is 100 and there, 
30 degree the opposite side of a kite uh here also will be 130 degree so since we have known that here is 130 degree so we have this to be that this plus this plus this minus it from 360 we give us this so we have this to be 130 degree plus 130 degree plus uh, 65 plus uh, x is equal to 360 degree so if we sum this uh we have x plus this plus this plus this sum it what you have as the answer do that okay that's fine we have that to be uh 325 degree is equal to 360 degree so subtract 325 degree from both side we have 360 minus 325 degree okay so my x now will be what subtract that what do you have okay that's fine we have that to be 35 degrees so 35 degree is the value of uh, x okay so the next one we talk about is the trapezium so in this trapezium we know that trapezium has two parallel sides this side and this side are parallel so trapezium have two parallel sides and the sum of the interior uh the interior angles at the end non-parallel side is 180 these are the non-parallel side these are the non-parallel side so the sum of the angles in the interior is 180 that means this plus this is 180 so note that and this plus this is 180 so since the two sides are parallel the non-parallel side the interior angles sum up to 180 degrees so let's look some example on this yeah if we are asked to find x and the y given that maybe this angle is 135 degree and this angle is 102 degree now to find x and y please this is a trapezium we cannot say this equal to this this quarter no because these two sides are not parallel it's only the the two up and down are parallel so for you to sum this we know that this angle plus this angle sum up to 180 degrees so we simply have this to be x plus uh 102 is equal to 180 degree the interior angles of a trapezium uh, of the non-parallel side these are the non-parallel side so we have x to be 180 degree minus 102 degree so check that 180 degree minus 102 degree gives us what what do you have okay that's fine that gives us a uh, 78 degree so x is 78 degree what about y in y also we have y plus 135 degree is equal to 180 degree so subtract 135 degree from both sides we have 180 degree minus 135 degree so if we subtract this 180 minus 135 what do you have check okay that's fine that gives us a 45 degree so the y also is 45 degree okay so this is how we solve this now let's look at this one more question here from here this question we are asked to work out the missing angle the missing angle is the exterior angle so for you to work out this exterior angle if you have a question of this form now what you need to do here is first of all you know to find that the sum of this trapezium is equal to 360 degree so maybe i can say let this angle here be a kind of um uh n so what you have to do here you are going to solve it sum this plus this plus this whatever it, you have minus it from 360 will give you this angle now you know that this line must be equal to 3 180 then 
this angle minus this gives us 180 minus this gives us this angle you get that 